Hey, hi guys. Hope you all are in zone all the time and whenever you all are going out, you all are masked up. So, what happens during this lockdown? You don't get art supplies. So that's why I have come up with this thing that uh, whatever you have at home, like newspapers, we all have old newspapers. Everyone, all of us have old newspapers at home. So we do simple craft out of that only. And we have a very renowned personality with us today, Mrs. Chandrika Kamar. So first, let me tell you guys why why from the why out of newspaper do we have to do things because when either you are throwing away the newspapers which go to the landfill and when they, it goes to the landfill they decompose and uh, uh, release methane which is a very very powerful greenhouse gas which is very harmful to the environment that we are living as it is right now the entire environment has gone for a toss so this is what we are you know working towards the conservational skills so on that note let me get mrs chandrika on board and then let me introduce her hi hi mrs chandrika how are you i'm good fine thank you for inviting me yeah, uh, it is our pleasure and privilege to have you on board today and guys let me give her the long introduction cut very short because she is a celebrity uh, herself. But then I am going to just highlight upon a few important points regarding, regarding Chandrika. So it's me, Dr. Vaishali Das, founder and curator of Artodontics, introducing Mrs. Chandrika Kamath. So she has completed her Women's Entrepreneur Development Program, which is tailor-made MBA program conducted by ISB Hyderabad in 2013. And before that, she had done a certificate course of interior designing and decoration from Indo-American Society in 1992. She also done textile designing course with specialization in screen printing and dyeing from Sophia Polytechnic, Mumbai. And at present, currently, she is, into, she is a textile designer and decorator with a rich experience of 25 plus years in art and craft industry and in coaching industry as well. She has done several international training workshops in countries like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Dubai, Egypt, and Indonesia, and of course, India. And she has conducted various celebrity workshops for TV actors too. She's very, very well known guys in the coaching industry uh, of her in her own industry. And today she's going to coach us with simple crafts in uh, recycling, upcycling paper, new old newspaper, because with Amazon shut down, with all other things shut down, the art supplies that we have at home, and the simplest form is the newspaper. So, welcome, Mrs. Chandrika. So excited to have you on board today. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Vaishnavas for inviting me and uh, agreeing to the simple topic as newspaper art. Uh, because uh, we were thinking of, you know, introducing something different. But then again, uh, people will not be able to do trial later on. That's the reason why we chose this. And uh, here's an opportunity for you to look at the demonstration. If you want to do it along with me, you can just grab some newspapers, scissors and some gum. That's all what you are going to be needing today. Okay. So let me start. I'm going to put the camera on the table. And then meantime, yes. I will keep talking. If you any queries you can type in and maybe Dr. Vaishali can tell me and I can answer your query yeah. or even after the session we can always uh, reply back in the messages. Thank you. So yeah. let me start again. Oh. Uh, you yes. have made a simple new I will be mentioning the sizes when I'm doing it practically. Okay. Yes. So guys, quickly, by the time she's adjusting the camera, you all can grab the newspaper so that you can go alongside. Or later on, you can just visit uh, the post and you can do it along with her later on. Okay. So first of all, let me start with a simple uh, box and uh, with the lid. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, take a nice, mm -hmm. colorful print box so that you have these nice glossy prints which look very attractive. Fold it into half. This is one single newspaper. Just to try, you can take one single newspaper. Otherwise, you can take mm -hmm. a double print, double paper also, and then do it with that. It becomes more sturdy. 
if you want to do something more sturdier and for commercial value, then you can always use handmade papers. So now fold this paper into half. So this is a full sheet, and I fold it into half now. Now just find out the center of this paper and mm -hmm. fold the sides so that these sides are folded here. And now right. fold the remaining into one inch folds like this from one side as well as do this from the other side. But before that, what you need to do is just on the center line, fold the sides mm -hmm. and then fold it and put it in so that this gets locked. So that it's easier for us to convert this into a box. So now this I'm going to yep. show you a small box and I'll be showing you a bigger box. Now this is like if you open, it's like a cap also. So the kids can do it like a shop cap or a sailor cap kind of a cap. Wow. And if you hold the base, this turns into a box. Oh, beautiful. And that's so quick. So you can see. I. Yeah, and I'll show you on another size also so that you know. Yeah. Because depending on the size you can make these boxes. So maybe you see two, three times, you will get this very easily. I'll be the lid also for this. So let me show this again on a bigger size. Now this paper let that I have taken. Trying that I, let me try something that you get the bigger uh, layout. You, you can continue. Yes, sure. So this is a full sheet, double I have taken. Again, same way, find out the center, fold the side. Now the remaining portion here, you fold it into one inch and fold it like this. Now turn this around. And then you have to match the side with the center fold like this. Okay. So same way you do this on the other side as well. Now this triangle you just fold it here so that you get a bottom base and fold these papers and tuck it in so that it gets locked there is no need to use any glue or any stapler or anything like this now once you open this it becomes like a cap and then you fold the base so you get a box so now see so this is a bigger box. This what I showed earlier was a smaller box. Now same thing if you do it with the entire double fold paper, you will get big box as this big box. So this oh, beautiful. The storage. You can store your uh, kanda batata, coconuts, or paper rolls. If you are having a lot of uh, sheets which are rolled up, you can stack them up. Kids have a lot of papers which they need you know, to put something. So these can be used even as a paper bin, brown paper bin also it can be used as. You can use number of layers so that it becomes more sturdy. Like here I have used two layers. So this box has become very sturdy. This one was a kind of a box which is maybe, you know, something like a gift box or a pen stand. So this is out of a right. single paper. So you can right. see, so easy. I'll show it again so that you can revise these steps. Yes, 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 please. So it becomes very easy and very simple. See, again, let's redo these. This is a complete full newspaper, okay? It's full right. complete newspaper. I folded it into half hmm. and I've taken horizontal. Okay. With the side, you can put the side of the triangle. Okay. Then this the looks like portion into the air air aeroplane earlier. Yeah. yeah. Or you make caps also like this. And then now hold the side to the center. So exactly they should match each other here. And then hmm. fold the remaining portion and if you lift up this folds, then you can tuck it in so that this gets locked. So this won't open up. So you put it nicely. Now you get these points where you fold this uh, triangle so that even if you put this inside, you get a nice pouch. Before oh, beautiful. Opening. So even this is a very nice pouch. 
Yes, so you can in the traveling, you can put your toothpaste, toothbrush, comb, accessories, anything. So now this is what it is. You have to just lift it open like this and put your hand inside and hold it on the triangle base so that this box gets a nice base. Beautiful. And you can okay. put anything in that. It can like yeah. a magic now, box. Let's and see. you can color it if you want to. Yes. Yes, of course. You can put uh, different kinds of cutouts on that and make like a collage. Now, this is a yeah. square paper. I have taken newspaper into a square shape. So, I've cut the normal mm. newspaper into a square. And what I'm going to do now is fold into half to get the center. So, that it's easier for me to match the corners. So you just fold it and make a center so that you know that you're going to fold all these corners into the center. So once you do this, like this, okay? Now without turning the side, again, fold these corners into the center. So you do this two times. Now you open up this side and this side. So you open up the opposite two sides and fold this in the center like this. Uh, I just disturb you for a moment, uh, Chandrika, because uh, yeah. people are saying that they can't see the demonstration very Probably you can turn the camera angle a little bit more down. Okay, let me see. Uh, yeah. Yeah, better? Uh, it's a bit better. better. Yeah, yeah it's a bit better. Yeah. So, that's the reason why no, it's happening. Towards you, taking more towards you. Okay, fine. So see, now again, I'll show. This is a square newspaper. So you mm -hmm. just fold the splitter from all the four sides. So right. again, you get corners. Again, you fold them into center from all the four mm -hmm. sides. Then open up these two opposite to each other and fold mm -hmm. the side again center. Right. Like this. Okay. Now what you need to do is you need to give this fold again here. So you get the sharpened fold. Now open this up and just push this inside and put this paper as a base. So that this side gets can you get the into, uh, get get the paper towards you little bit more towards you yeah 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 okay. better better yeah because yeah. I can't see I don't understand right. what I'm right. doing yeah yeah now see yeah. fold this fold this and fold this again and fold this again okay now mm -hmm. after this yes. you fold this side also well now open this up. Let it stand because we are making a box the lid and fold these corners and put this in. You will automatically get these corners because they are folded already. See, so this okay. becomes a small box itself. Like you can keep some knickknacks into it or this becomes the lid for the earlier box that we made. See here. So this is the previous box that I did with the single paper. This fits as a lid for this. It becomes a gift box. You want me to demonstrate the box again? Yeah, the lid again. Yes. I don't know. Meghna Dikshit is saying that she's not able to see the demo. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. Can others, uh, whoever is watching, reply whether they are able to see the demo or not? Arpita, if you could just tell me. Mm. You can you can continue because only Meghna is saying that she cannot see the video, and uh, Sushila, so uh, yeah, uh, hi Kushal. Kushal is saying that every Medavi is also saying they can see it. Yeah, you can continue. You can continue. Okay, fine. Thank you, thank you, Tulsi. Thank you, Medavi Kushal. If you can show the leg again, I'm so sorry. Show the leg again. Okay. Oh, sure, no problem. No problem. Take a square piece. Yeah. You can listen to the 
things and then it may be easier for you to understand because i know the screen is very small take a square yeah. piece just mark the center because you're doing the corner so just fold this and you get the center here so fold all the corners to the center so this is okay. the basic geometry that we teach start origami keeping the side same don't reverse it again fold the all the four corners you need to do this so that you get nice crisp fold on the all sides right okay. now open okay. up these two and fold the side to the center like this hmm and then this again the center so that your marking is done then open it up let these walls just stand don't open up completely flat like this just let them stand and you will see this triangle part which you fold inside and let this part go in same way you push this side and let this part go in so this becomes a lid and nicely press those folds so that they remain intact okay so this itself becomes a box or this becomes a lid for the box which we did earlier like this beautiful thank you that's really nice now the next one and is a circle sturdy also pouch Hi Jay Lakshmi. Hey Chandrika, I guess we are having an issue. Yeah. Okay. And now turn the side. So the fold is gone on the back side. Now fold this and fold this. But before folding, you open up this flap and then put it inside because then it should get locked here. Now fold this and push it in. so this becomes a simple very simple envelope or a pouch like this now this can be used as a gift bag oh, if you are planning to play with something and you don't need any glue it is just a simple fold three fold i'll show again because see origami yes. takes little time to understand this is the entire newspaper taken into horizontally fold about 1 and 1/2 inch on one side turn the paper and divide this into three parts and fold it now the first part after folding you get this flap on top just put this inside so that this gets locked and then fold this paper into half the remaining paper into half and again push it inside the fold so you get the nice pouch oh beautiful and you can you are and neating doing that thank you so it is just like this and if you need a base maybe probably you can push the base and make a corner here so that you get a nice base also see mm -hmm. so in case oh, if you are planning put a box or something gift or something inside you can have a handle to this and convert it into a bag also now i'm going to show you a normal paper bag that we do so for this i've taken a double paper okay so this side what i'm going to do is fold about half an inch so that this we need sticking or we can staple it but i prefer sticking because it becomes okay. very good. now this about half an inch fold you put the glue on this and stick the other side so your fold can be taken into side or it can be taken into center as well right now this fold has been stuck and you can cut the extra paper or you can fold it inside and stick it but i prefer to cut it so 
so that the extra part is not giving me the bulge on the side. Now, depending on the base that you want, you should actually fold the base. So here I'm folding about four inches base. So this is four inches base, which is folded here. And on top I'm folding because I'll be putting a belt or I'll be putting a cord. So you need uh, to store. Again, I'm sorry, I'm disturbing you. Uh, Sushila, Supriya, uh, these people are not able to see because I guess there is some problem. They have not logged in properly because all others are able to see what we are doing. Okay, so uh, later on probably uh, we will uh, send them the link again and they will be able to check it out yeah. once again. The video will be on the link, right? On the page? It will be there uh, all the time live on the page. I mean, uh, recorded on the page. So yeah. you should be able to see it, uh, Sushila and Supriya. Probably yeah. there's some problem. I don't know. Uh, you sh you just have to go to Art Accounting's art exhibition page, and it will. I think going on live over there right now. The link is already shared in the uh, my way, Facebook page also. Ha. Huh. So I guess there's some problem with that because all others have uh, commented that they are able to see. So probably they're joining in in a bit of an issue right now. I guess. We will get back to you, Mrs. Sushila and Supriya. We will get back to you. So I just folded yeah. this fold here. Yeah. Now, again, if you want to make it more sturdy, you have another fold. So what you do, you just fold it like this and fold it inside. So that fold goes in and it gives a sturdy top for the cord to be placed. Mm hmm so this becomes your top. And the bottom, what we had done, we have taken about a four inches fold. So you need to open this fold, only one half, and fold this triangle. Okay. So this we have to the base like this. Okay. Hmm. Now, again, overlap it a bit from the center line. This is the center line. So you just overlap about an inch so that it can be stuck properly and the box will be created for the bag. Now here you need to use the glue. So see this fold again. This was the four inches fold that we had done. Open this into two sides on the triangle. Fold this. This is the center fold, so fold it about half an inch or to one inch extra so that it gets overlapped, so that it's easier for to stick. Now, put the glue on this triangle parts. And stick it so that the base gets stuck. Don't put too much of glue because newspaper is generally very thin. and fold it back so your base is made and then you have this bag ready so this becomes a big size bag again i would repeat that uh, Andrea, again i'm just telling you that if i don't respond i'm removing myself from the screen so that people can see you on a bigger screen Okay, yeah. so you can keep talking. If you don't hear my yeah. voice, don't worry. Okay, no issue at all. So you can do this with a double paper to get a sturdy bag. Now you can do this with us horizontally, this size also, so that you can get double paper and you get a smaller bag. So, why I'm repeating this again is because some of you have missed it or maybe not seen it so that you can see this again. So I've taken two papers here and I'm taking a smaller newspaper so that it's easy and we can do that again. So here what you need to do is fold. Since there are two papers, just apply glue and stick it up 
so that the papers don't move. So just take a little glue, apply a little glue on the side and stick this and fold it. So you can fold about a half an inch to one inch as you need to put the glue on. Now, before you stick this, you can cut off this extra or you can fold this also and put it in. That's also possible. But as I said, I prefer to cut So apply the glue and stick it. Or you can stick this also on the other side. So if you want, you can stick this on the other side. Now this is a double paper. So you can see how sturdy the back can become. Now for the base, you need to fold about three inches because we have taken a smaller size newspaper. So fold about three inches, open up this and fold it into a triangle like this. Now, this is your middle line. Fold this little extra, about half an inch extra and then this overlapping so that while sticking you get the nice base. On the triangular portion you just put the glue and stick this and put a glue on this edge so that this portion again sticks on the folded part. So this is a nice base that you have. Now what to do with the top? Again since I have taken a double paper, one fold will be good enough. So you fold one inch and fold this inside. So that whenever we are doing using punch to make a hole to put the cord, it will be sturdy. Depending on the thickness of the paper, you can easily put up to 1 to 2 kgs of weight in these bags. If you want more sturdy, then you can use handmade paper. So this becomes your paper bag. Now let yeah. me show you. Uh, uh, I have one minute, one doubt here. So in the yes. handmade paper, uh, so easy to fold and work upon as a newspaper. Yes, yes. it it is slightly thicker than the newspaper. So you will need yeah. to be more uh, uh, strength maybe to put folds. But it is definitely sturdy and you can reuse it again and again. Newspaper, when it gets wet, like if you go to buy vegetables and all, and if the vegetables are wet, the bag might tear off. But in handmade paper, that doesn't happen. Even if you have little damp vegetables or, you know, little wet, it won't tear off so easily. Right. But this okay. is a nice thing, like if you're carrying some dabba or something, you know, on everyday basis, or now if you don't want to use plastic in your dustbin, so you can use this as a bin liner also. So that at least your dustbin is protected. Like dry dustbin is protected. Right. So right. And plus you are environment friendly as well. Yes. Yes. Now this is the instrument that you get. I will like to show where you can punch a hole. These are the eyelets. So you get these kind of eyelets in the market. Mm -hmm. screen here. Can you, yeah, I, I was about to say that. And this is the instrument that you get to punch them back so that open up. And this is the punch that you get. But you can use your normal home punch also. Otherwise, you can use this punch to make a hole. So this is, I'm going to show you now how to put a punch and how to put these eyelets because this makes the top part sturdy of the bag. So otherwise, if you just punch a hole and pass the cord, it might tear off later on if you try to put something heavy. 
so this becomes very sturdy see so this is the eyelet and this is the jute cord so this becomes very sturdy so i'm going to show this to you now now you can do this so this is a punch that you get you can have to just have to fold it put it here so that it creates a hole and this paper can be easily removed it's sharp so see it came out easily the paper from here so same thing i will do it on the other side or you can use the house punch also the regular office punch which we use even that can be used now both the sides let me do it See, there are four layers of newspaper still it is getting punched with the hand otherwise you can use hammer so that it gets punched all together okay now this is the eyelet that you have to put it through these and you have to use this instrument to open up so you use this and just press it so this gets flattened like this so you get a rim for the hole that punch you created so it's not very difficult at all yeah it's, it's available in the stationery shop see here so you just do this and punch it and use the back side of it to hammer it hmm so doing it on handmade paper probably you will need little more strength so you can use hammer now okay you need a hammer yeah you need a hammer so that you know the handmade paper is little thicker so that it has to get punched into that very well otherwise so now here i'm doing it just with the pressure and i'm pressing the punch with the back side of the instrument this has got a small flowery kind of a thing which opens up the eyelets see here now these are made so you can use any kind of cord or lace whatever you want i prefer jute cord is easily available so you can just take these jute cords pass it through and as much height as you need you can just cut it and put a knot inside i prefer to put knot both together so that they don't come out of the eyelet so you have to just see how much you need and cut two pieces of the same size so that you can tie them up inside okay so see just take it inside and put a knot with these two together so that it is nice and sturdy again see here so this won't come out this won't open up if you do a single knot sometimes the knot might come out through the eyelet there are a lot of things that can be done with the newspaper i'll be showing you a few articles of course that will need some time but i do conduct workshops for these best out of waste concept where you can do a lot of things with bottle decorations newspaper crafts fabric craft even fabric scrap is a huge problem in our country because whatever tailoring material is left after the stitching part it goes to the landfill so see so this is your bag and it's ready 
So I, we can post the pictures and then later on they can see. Yeah, so yeah. Can... So this is going to be there. Guys. You all can pause the video and check it out again. I agree that our screen is a little small, but this is all we could manage. No. <laughs> the next one is again very interesting and uh, very colorful. It looks, uh, it's going to be very simple with the fan fold. I'm sure all of you have done the fan fold as a kid. Yes. And you know how to make a fan fold. So here I'm taking this colorful paper. As I said, I'm just cutting off the top part of the plane. And now here I'll be folding it in the center. So the joint of this will come in the center. So depending on again the size of the gift that you have, you can decide how much size you need to take because your gift should go into that box. Right. So now this is what I've done. Just taken the paper lengthwise. Let me give you the line once again. So yeah. And this is overlapping so that the print gets connected. Right. So this was the idea of cutting the white part. Now I will be putting the glue on the edge. And just do this. Now you can decide the base that you want. Height again. So I have cut it. So I will be folding about 3 inches base. And just like normal base that you will be doing. Open this up. Fold it into triangle on both the sides. And do it like how we did just now for the paper bag. So, you overlap this and you create the base. If you want bigger base, then get bigger fold. So, I have done about 3 inches fold. Maybe you will need to do 4 inches fold. So, this is done. Now you can put your gift inside and start doing a fan fold on top. So this is how it's going to be looking. So what you do, you just start these fan folds from top. So approximately half an inch thickness you should take. And depending on the height of the gift that you have, you should decide that first. Put that inside and then you have to open up this fan. So as if this, this height is enough for you, then you can open up the fan and stick it up. So I will put a bottle inside and I will show you how the box is going to look. So maybe I will just put this bottle. So now before sticking the fan, you should do it. So I'm just putting this bottle inside as my gift. So just to show you how it will stand and how the fan fold will sit on the top. So just fold this back as have we have already folded. So we have the folds ready. Now you have to just hold this together and either staple it or stick it. So your box will have the inside like this and you will have a fan fold. You can use a cello tape so that the gift can be opened up 
by cutting the cello tape instead of sticking but here i'm just putting little glue and i'm just showing this to you so this is a fan that gets stuck and it acts like a flower on top so this is how your gift box that's is amazing ready. really amazing so guys uh, i always prefer to anyway wrap newspaper but they have given me wonderful idea it looks very decorative also yeah and, and uh, you are uncling paper you are not creating waste yeah beautiful thank you now next is something which is very interesting creating beads out of paper so i will just show you what i'm wearing right now it's my spectacle chain and you can see the paper beads used in this oh yeah so, uh -huh. so these are it's normal printed paper part i have used where you see a lot of blue colors just to make it matching so i will be showing that to you now so you can probably make the beads and later on make your own chain or bracelet or spectacle chain like i'm wearing okay now for that what you need to do is depending on the thickness of the bead that you require you should take number of papers so i'll be showing it to you and you can do it simultaneously because you need to make lot of beads so now see i'm taking this nice colorful print paper and i'm cutting it into now here you need little drawing because you have creating lines okay so how do you mark those lines so i'll show it on the side so if this is your paper that you have taken so do a nice cutting on the edge so that your finishing of the bead comes very well so do the marking on one side about 1 inch so you are taking marking of 1 1 inch now on the opposite side you start with half an inch so that you get a triangle line so that means this in this marking over here is 1 inch this marking over here is 1 1 inch and here this marking i started off with half an inch and later on i marked 1 1 inch so i am going to get triangle so depending on the length of the bead you should take the paper accordingly and just go on joining these lines so that you can cut them either with the cutter or with the scissor so now this is the first bead that i'm cutting paper for now from the second paper you will automatically get your second part of the bead also so that this serves a good side so this is the triangle see 1 inch on one side and marking of half an inch on the other side give you that sharp pointed okay so now so if you take three papers you will get little thicker bead so i'm taking three papers over here and what you do you just take a glue and stick all the three papers together you need glue only in the beginning of this and 
while ending. You don't need much glue. Remember? See. Okay? So now you have stuck these three papers together. And now we start rolling from one side. So either you can take a toothpick or take a wire or something which can be used for winding this. And just to, when you start, you soften it a bit by rolling it in your hand like this so that it gets rolled very easily. And just put little glue only once. And then start rolling. Now once you roll about 2-3 inches, you can remove this and start rolling with your finger by holding it in between your thumb and the index finger and just start rolling these three sheets together. They, they will be together because we have stuck it in the beginning and we are rolling it very tightly. So depending on the thickness of the bead that you want, you should take number of papers. I have taken three here. So you will be able to see the thickness of the bead. And that will help you to decide whether you want to take two papers or single paper or three papers or even more. Now, when you come to end of it, you put glue, say about approximately one inch and roll it nicely. Let the glue get rolled over the entire bead so that it will become waterproof also. See, and this is how the bead is made. So I have made these beads and I kept them ready so that I can show you how you can make a super bracelet out of this. This becomes very interesting for the kids, for the younger generation. It's more like a fashion jewelry. You get these kind of elastic in the market, which is used for making bracelets. So these are all made out of newspaper. And I am using these glass beads in between just to add little color. And these are all coated with fevicol. So you just pass these. You can make a nice necklace also. So I'm using one glass bead and one paper bead. If you don't wish to use glass bead, you can make different sizes of paper beads and put them alternately. The spectacle chain that I showed you, I have made it out of only one paper. Full size one paper. So those were thin. Now since this is for bracelet, I have taken three papers. And the width here I had taken was three-fourth of an inch, not one inch. What I showed you for the demo was of one inch. Now, depending on the width, you just see how many beads you need. These are elastic threads which are used in jewelry making. Yeah. So I am sure this much is good enough. So I am going to just add one more bead here and tie a knot. So when you tie a knot, you just check whether it is bigger or smaller for your size. I think one I should remove. This is good enough. So I've removed one colored thread and one newspaper bead. Now, give a nice two, three tight knots. 
and secure the nodes by passing it through one of the bead because these glass beads also have a bigger holes and even paper beads also have got bigger holes so just pass it through by stretching it so that the knot is not visible now this is a stretchable bracelet so it can be easily worn on the hand so these are oh, the beads amazing. that i have made so a lot of things can be done you can make it with the colorful papers also there are a lot of other things that as i said you can be doing with the newspaper this is simple coaster that i have made for making paper rolls but for this you need to give time you need to make rolls allow them to dry and then cut it and then need to construct it as a coaster these are again and how are you used you think a bank does it have a cork down there or that from for new paper no i have used mount board as a base okay okay you nicely put it get in laminated so even if you can use it like you know for tea or coffee or sharbat it won't get spoiled because it's laminated so now this is not right. laminated so you can get them laminated with a plastic coating on it mm -hmm. so this is this is like i made the paper strips uh, these are all colorful paper strips that i took out from the newspaper and i folded into half an inch strip and i did simple weaving like how the kids do simple weaving in school the same concept is used over here and these coasters are made now this is something interesting which is a newspaper weaving this is like a proper weaving which is done you have to get more into focus from the camera little bit on your left yeah yeah this is a complete so curvy you can see even if i drop it nothing will happen because this is a proper coils made out of newspaper and this is made with the weaving And it is only newspaper coil, right? Nothing else, no bins, nothing. It is only newspaper coil. Yeah, I mean the colors. What you see are the the prints of the newspaper. I have not painted this deliberately. Hmm. I didn't. But you can make baskets and you can paint them and use it in the house. And they are very sturdy. They last for quite a long time. If you apply a good coat of varnish. they become waterproof also so even if they get dusty you can wash it lovely and it looks see pay paper mache is not the only thing when you talk about recycling paper you can directly yes. use new paper yes paper mache slightly becomes messy especially and if you don't have a sunlight then you won't be able to fasten the process because you right. need some paper mache Right. If you right. have questions, I think I can start answering them. Or if they have not followed anything, they can. There are questions, but everybody in awe of you. Everybody is appreciating your work big time. So yes. Ramani Sharma is also saying amazing stuff to keep busy creatively. She has done a lot of your workshops. So, uh, guys, she is also on TV. She uh, she comes uh, with her craft idea on, I guess, some TV, DD, and all yes. those uh, uh, TV channels as well, yes. right? But more of yeah. online works now. And uh, uh, I was always into practical uh, teaching and learning. But uh, during this pandemic, I learned this new thing at my age <laughs> and technically not so. Person, learning but I, <laughs> definitely i picked up this and i'm um, doing a lot of workshops online so that it can be reached out anytime anywhere so that's right. uh, right. giving me a pleasure so if anyone is interested in doing any workshop probably they can just message me on atodontic group and i'll get you connected to mrs chandrika or I'm you can directly me. visit our facebook page Yes, it's by my name, Chandrika Kamal. In our uh, workshop details, yes, definitely, definitely. Yeah, thank you so much for being with us. And uh, yeah, Sonali Sharaf is also saying nice idea of creativity. 
simply awesome. Tulsi and um, Kavita, Rita, everyone is highly appreciative of you. And thank oh, you for making it for us. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Again. And thank again, you. we will come back with another workshop. If you all have any suggestions, like uh, Mrs. Chandrika can take some workshop. If you have any uh, recommendations, suggestions, let us know. We will get back with her once again, if, if possible. Definitely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Vaishali. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So that's it for today, guys. And uh, we will come back with the workshop once again very, very soon. Uh, yeah, Ditta, thank you so much. Thank you, Ramani. Sushila, so, I'm glad that you could see it finally. Hi, Vaishali. Yes. It was really nice and I think it's going to be interesting. And the best part about it is you don't need to go out and buy any uh, hi-fi stuff to make it. You can just simply use your old newspaper. That's it for now today, guys. Bye-bye. Please do have a look at www.autodontics.com. And uh, there are a lot of paintings exhibited out there. And uh, we also do a lot of charitable work from the sale of paintings. Bye, guys. Yeah, Neela, Ronita, Manisha, Latika. Thank you so much. Nanda Kumar. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Bye-bye. See you.